if you're telling the story of Gideon, here's a fun way to show the kids just how big the Midianite army was versus the little Israelite army. I went to the toy store and got some army men. So I have this guy. He's a fireman, actually, because I wanted him to stand out versus the other ones. You probably can't see that, but he's a red guy. He's got his little axe there. All right, so if the Israelite army, they had, Gideon's army, they had 32,000 people in their army. That seems really big, doesn't it? But the Midianites that God had told Gideon he could help get rid of them, get, keep them from bugging them anymore, they had 135,000 men. That means for each one of the Israelites, they had to fight off four of the Midianite army. Well, Midianites and all their friends, the Amalekites and all them. So, if you've ever seen like an action movie or something like that, that seems kind of doable. But it still isn't the situation I'd want to be in. But God told Gideon his army was too big. He said, Gideon, tell anybody who's in your army who's scared that they can just go home. Do you think very many of them were scared? Yeah. The Bible says 22,000 of them went home. They were only left with 10,000 guys against 135 thousand Midianites, which means now for each one of the Israelite army that there was, there was 14 on the other side. So I'm going to set up some more army men here so we have 14 against the one. See if these guys stand up. Some of them aren't made quite right. Let's see. There we go. All right. Now it's one versus 14. Now maybe if everybody in the, in Gideon's army, maybe if they were all ninjas, maybe this would work. But that still doesn't seem like something I would want to have to mess with. 14 guys trying to get rid of me? Yikes. Well, God told Gideon, God told Gideon that the army was too big. Still, he had them go get a drink before the big battle. He said, okay, if they lean down and lean into the, put their mouths in the water to drink, then they can go home. If they scoop up the water in their hands and drink it and they can still look around and stuff like that that means those are the trained men those ones will stay and so Gideon had everybody take a drink and he watched what they did and he said oh all right everybody who stuck their heads down in the water they have to go home so now there was only 300 men left 300 men versus 135,000 that doesn't seem very good. That means that for each one of these Israelite guys, there was 450, 450 of the Midianite army. That's a huge number. Now it's going to be pretty clear that if the Israelites win, it's totally God that is helping them do it. So that's my little visual. It's just a bunch of army men that you get to store in your garage for the rest of your life while you keep teaching the story of Gideon. So um, the way I set it up is I put, it in, put all the army men in a box. I take out 14 of them. I have the rest of them down in the bottom. Then I put a piece of paper in the box on top of those, that first group. Then I put 10 army men in there. And then another piece of paper to separate that, and then four of the army men and w the one wherever he went, the Israelite guy. That way I can just, I don't have to count them as I'm going. I can just pick up that, that first set, get rid of this piece of paper, pick up the second set of 10 more, and get rid of the next one, and then dump out the 450. And as the kids are seeing the army men spreading all over the table and falling off, they're going to get a pretty good idea of just how powerful God is. So hopefully that visual idea works for you. Thanks.